Hi, this is Lou, and today I just thought I'd just grab a cup of tea and uh, take a little bit of time to have a chat with you. I've been doing that thing that lots of people do at the change of the year, where I've been going back through uh, what I did last year, um, kind of celebrating achievements and accomplishments, and looking at things that worked well and things I want to do more of, and also thinking about what I might want to change and to make better. So, um, so yes, yeah, so I thought I'd share some thoughts with you on that. First thing is that today, the day I'm filming this, uh, my channel's just ticked over into 10,000 subscribers. I can't like, I try to imagine like 10,000 of you and who you might be and where around the world you are. And, and yeah, it, it, it's, it's almost inconceivable. Um, but, uh, but yeah, thank you so much. It's only just over a year ago that I was celebrating passing a thousand subscribers too. So to get to 10,000 in a year is, is, is quite incredible. So thank you very much. I really hope that you've been enjoying what I've been producing and uh, yeah, thank you for sticking around. So I began this channel and really started taking it seriously um, and, and then kind of produced all sorts of different videos, um, just trying things out seeing what kind of things worked well on YouTube, but also what kind of content I wanted to make as well. So around the end of last year, I realised that I wanted this channel to be really focused on art. That's for two reasons. One is that I am an artist. That is my job. That's what I do. Um, and the second is that um, is that the internet really loves a niche. It does. Um, and if you yeah, if you make content on a wide variety of subjects, then it's harder to find an audience for that. Um, and it's easy to blame that on this kind of algorithm, this like impersonal idea. But yeah, I find that myself. Like if I if I see somebody's video and I, even if I really like it, if I go to their channel and the rest of their videos are about things that I'm not really interested in, then I'm not likely to subscribe. So it's very easy to blame an algorithm for that. But but actually, it really, a lot of it is just human nature. So yeah, so I really wanted to stick to something for a year. So I was like, right, for a year, I'm only going to make art. That's all I'm going to do on this channel. I'm just going to make art. And what worked really well the year before was uh, was work in fine liner and in watercolour. And when I say worked, um, what am I talking about? For me, the mark of a successful video is not really about how many views it's got or how many likes or even comments. When a video has been really successful, I can tell because you start sharing your projects with me. You give it a go. That's that's when I know that um, I've kind of hit the mark on something. And it may be that the videos that um, that I would consider the most successful actually maybe don't have very many views or very many, you know, those like social indicators. But actually, they're the ones where I can see, oh, that encouraged somebody to get their paints out or to buy a set of paints and to, and to give something a go for the first time. And that's what I really love. So that's, for me, that's why, some, that's why something works or doesn't work. Uh, the videos that were doing that the most were ones where um, I, I was uh, working in watercolour or just working in pen on paper. Um, and I can see why, because they're kind of, watercolour is beautiful to start with um, but they're also like quite um, approachable you don't need a studio you don't need a huge amount of space you can do it at your you know I do it on my sofa at home in front of the telly it's it's that kind of like scale of work that I can um, that I can see people having a go at and sharing back with me so that's um, that's what I want to continue doing this year um, but I also kind of want to mix it up a little bit uh, because while the internet might love a niche, I don't. <laughs> it's like it doesn't suit me at all. It's not my personality, um, and I've I've tried to kind of like I've kind of contained it and contained it and contained it so that it is now like it's watercolor and pen, line and wash, or watercolor patterns, and then the occasional kind of drawing project or you know the very occasional printmaking thing thrown in. Uh, but that's that's pretty much what it is. And I know that I could probably be even more successful here if I just picked one. If I just picked one and stuck to it, then, you know, it would probably really take off. And But I, you know, I wouldn't be able to sustain it in the long term. So I've got to kind of find something that's a, a decent balance. 
So you don't need to worry, the watercolour tutorials and the line and wash tutorials are not going anywhere, that I'm going to still be producing those, um, they're still going to be uh, free on my YouTube channel um, and I still want to see your projects that you've had a go at at home. So what I want to do a little bit more of is videos like this where I'm sitting and talking to the camera, talking to you. It's something I've got a little bit out of the habit of, uh, I did it quite a bit in my earlier videos, um, but then I don't know, I just kind of lost confidence with it. Um, and part of that was that I couldn't see myself when I was filming because I had a camera that didn't have a screen that you could see yourself on. So uh, it was a little bit tricky to figure out whether I was in focus, whether I was, you know, where I was on the screen, that kind of thing. Uh, but last year I got a new camera, so it has a little screen that flips out. So if you find my eyes drifting off to the side at any point, that's because I'm looking at the screen and not looking at the camera. So yeah, so I think I want to do more kind of videos where I talk you through what it's like being an artist and kind of what my day to day is like, what my weeks are like, what kind of things that I do like behind the scenes. And I hope you'll find that interesting. So yeah, so I also want to talk to you a little bit about the way I've kind of structured my like artistic self um, in that I've kind of boxed that off into different sections as well, again, because the internet loves a niche. So yeah, so I have two different online personas as an artist. Um, and this is this channel is one uh, that you've seen, and that's linked to an Instagram account where I post the work that I've produced for the videos here, but also um, other work that I, I just create on Instagram. So there's extra reels, there's um, there's works in progress, there's extra, like I do Instagram challenges and, and those kind of things there. So, um, so that is very much in the style of the videos that you've seen here. So yeah, and I've got this other kind of side to myself that I, I don't talk about all that much on here. I do a little bit um, and I talk to you about like the printmaking process a little bit. I've made a couple of videos on that. But the the prints that I'm producing um, for, uh, for galleries and for exhibitions and uh, for those kind of things, I'm not really kind of sharing on here. And I, yeah, I, I didn't want to kind of confuse things, but I think that... I think that you can probably cope with that. I think that I can probably cope with that. So I've not wanted to um, take the, that kind of work that I'm producing there and um, create tutorials around it. Um, it just doesn't feel like the right thing to do, but I think I should do more in kind of talking you through what I'm producing and why, and, uh, and then how that does fit in with the art that I'm making for YouTube and for, the, uh, for Instagram. I'm not sure what my upload schedule is going to be like over the next couple of months. I'm going to try and fit in a video a week, but I don't know whether I'm going to manage it. That's because I've got a few big things coming up. Firstly is that I have booked a gallery for a solo exhibition in February. So I'm really looking forward to that. I will be sharing some of the behind the scenes stuff with you and I'll be sharing some of the like the experience of the exhibition as well. The other thing is that I'm working on a PhD. <laughs> which uh, is, you know, just happening. Uh, this has been a part-time PhD, which I've been working on for many years, but it's coming to an end uh, in the next few months. And I'm gonna have to spend some time writing it all up and getting everything ready. And yeah, it's um, it's gonna be fun. I'm, I'm still enjoying the process of it, um, but uh, it may take me away from making videos just a little bit. So my plan for content in the next year is that the art tutorials, I'm, I don't plan to change those at all, really. I still plan to do watercolour tutorials for beginners and for relaxation, uh, using simple patterns and shapes and forms, um, helping you uh, think about colours and forms and mixing and just that enjoying of the paint flowing across the surface and mixing and blending into the other colours and all, all that stuff that I love. So there's going to be more of that. There's going to be more line and wash. Um, I'm, I've been collecting lots of reference material for house portraits, for street scenes, maybe some more like grand buildings, like I've got some pictures of Lincoln Cathedral now, so uh, that might be coming up in a video very soon. Yeah, um, and there may be some other things sneaking in as well. Yeah, I think I'd like to do some more landscapes and I'd like to kind of develop techniques in other areas as well. Um, and then share them with you as I've learned them. And then I'd like to do more videos like this where I just sit and chat to you. 
Um, and I've got lots of ideas for things that you may be interested in, but I would really like your feedback on whether this is actually something that you want to see from me. I'm thinking things like, how do you develop your own creative voice? Like, what's your unique creative vision and how do you find that out? And then things like, what do you do with your art once you've made it? There's practical things about, like, how do you protect it? How do you store it? How do you frame it? Um, is that something that you want to do? Um, and then things about, like, actually being a, an artist in business. Um, how do you... How do you get your work out there? Do you um, do you want to show it in galleries? Do you want to be part of exhibitions? Uh, do you want to show it, share it online? Uh, so I've been gathering loads of resources and information over the years that you know it would be great to share with you. So I want to say thank you very much for watching today. Thank you very much for your subscriptions, um, adding to my numbers and making nice round totals, which I can celebrate. I'm going to go off and get myself a new cup of tea and have that piece of cake and celebrate 10,000 subscribers. So I really want to thank you for um, being part of this channel, being part of this community. Uh, for those of you who share your work with me on Instagram and uh, for those of you who watch, like and comment on my videos, you are all, all really appreciated. So thank you very much for watching today. I really look forward to seeing you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.